Hey guys, how's it going? Now, if you own a Windows 11 PC and you are a gamer, well, you are in luck. Windows 11 has a lot of game improvements to basically give you the best gaming performance. But the big question is, do you know what are those improvements and how to actually make use of them? Well, that's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Tech and in today's video, we'll be talking about some of the most essential settings that you should enable along with some of the most useless settings that you should disable to get the maximum and the best gaming performance out of your Windows 11 PC. So without wasting any time, let's just jump right into it. All right, so first things first, let's enable the game mode. Now I know Microsoft has offered this game mode previously on Windows 10 as well, but now with Windows 11, the game mode is well, actually useful. Enabling it is super simple. Just press the Windows plus I keys to open the settings app and then select gaming from the left sidebar. Now go to the game mode and enable the toggle from the following menu. Now chances are, if you're a gamer, you already have a good gaming mouse. Now as such, it's always a good idea to disable Microsoft's settings for enhancing the pointer precision. Now that is a Windows setting that comes pre-installed for devices to basically improve their tracking. But chances are, if you're using a gaming mouse, it already comes with its proprietary software. So having Windows try to implement something good is well just gonna cause more harm. So in order to disable it, press the Windows key and then search for mouse. Now open the mouse settings menu. From the related settings menu, select additional mouse settings. Now move to the pointer options menu. From here, disable the enhanced pointer precision. And that's it. Now, if you're gaming on your PC, you have to have a dedicated GPU for that. However, chances are that your specific game or application might not be using that GPU. Thankfully, you can change it very easily using Windows settings. To do that, press the Windows key and then search for graphics. Now hit enter and open the graphics settings menu. Select the game and then click on options. Now select whatever GPU you want to use with the game and then hit save. Okay, now this next setting is very important. I mean, it basically gives you far more RAM and storage. So basically what happens is that when you're gaming, I don't know if you're streaming or not, but chances are that you might want to do some game captures. Now, ideally you can use the game bar to just save a recording of the last five minutes. Or if you use a dedicated software like OBS or something like that, that has you sorted. However, Windows also has a sort of unnecessary feature in the name of record what happened, where it just automatically recognizes what happened and then saves it as a highlight. Chances are that you do not want that and has have to disable that. Open the Windows settings app and then go to gaming and select captures. Now disable record what happened toggle. And that's it. Now moving on, here's a classic trick to improve overall Windows 11 performance just disable the apps that are running at the startup. To do that, open the window settings and go to the apps menu. Now select startup. Now just disable the irrelevant apps and services starting up during the login process. All right, now another thing that you can do if you're planning on gaming on your Windows 11 PC is to enable the high performance mode. Now this basically ensures that the maximum power is given to both your CPU and GPU to well, just ensure that you get the maximum performance. Now to do that, press the Windows key and then search for edit power plan. Now hit enter and it will open the power options. Click on the power option at the top and then enable high performance from the drop down menu. And that's it. Now the last thing that you want to ensure is that you keep everything up to date. So whether it's your GPU drivers or Windows 11 itself, you have to ensure that everything is up to date. Thankfully, Windows Update takes care of all of it. All you have to do is just go to Windows Settings and then head over to Windows Update and then search for the latest updates. It'll automatically fetch the most stable version of your GPU drivers along with the latest version of Windows 11 and basically keep you up to date. However, if you want, you can manually download the latest GPU driver updates from your respective websites, whether it's from AMD or Nvidia. Now, I personally do not recommend doing that because the latest versions usually come with some sort of bugs and might have some issues. But then the brand also claims that it comes with more modifications for the latest games. So make your pick. Nonetheless, if you run into some issues with the latest GPU driver update that you installed, here's a video on how to properly uninstall it. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.